quotes. Uh, not my quotes. Not, not in anybody's quotes, air quotes. Uh, the fire. And after hearing uh, Jeremy Christian rant and with the two girls as his target, Sean Ford stepped over to shield those girls. Mm-hmm. And he's 6'4", about 300 pounds at the time, 275 to 300 pounds, somewhere like that. Mm-hmm. Where he, where he had. And he was standing there when Micah Fletcher came up and put his hand on Micah to kind of say, and he did say, uh, it's just talking, we don't have to need to fight here. Oh, yeah, like trying to de-escalate Micah Fletcher. Whoa. Before, before he even went up to... Um, now here's the thing I am not I'm still not clear on how how many times or what what approach um, Micah made to Jeremy I don't think, and you would know by looking at the video, and if you could do it, do it. Uh, because I, I was the guy at the trial here in the witness testimony for aid, uh, you know. I heard, uh, so far I've heard uh, about, uh, uh, realistically, I've heard 10 hours of testimony. So did you, see, did you see the video roll? I mean, the thing where oh. he pushes him down, and then Micah's standing oh, no. over Jeremy. Wait, 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 let me, let me. Let me clarify for uh, for you and anybody else that that the jury goes out when there's uh, uh, matters of law. Yeah. Right. Uh, whether somebody objects, and if it's, if it's too deep, uh, then then the, 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 uh, Judge Albright can say that it's a stain for this reason or uh, overruled yeah. for that reason. But, but if it's something that she can't or they can't simply say identify them. It's irrelevant. You know, objection irrelevant or, or uh, objection, you know, for example, uh, asked and answered. You know, they've uh-huh. already told you that so you don't have to ask this question again. Right? That kind of stuff. If, if, it's, uh, if, it's, if it's something that's a pretty, you know, I don't know if it's simple, but it's a, 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 a pretty uh, uh, easily dispensed matter of law that you can do from the bench, uh, that'll happen. Uh, or one time they actually had an in courtroom uh, powwow behind the uh, big screen TV. So there was Judge Albright and uh, Mr. Howe and they kind of all been in on it. It doesn't really matter, but, but they didn't leave the courtroom. They just hit from the jury uh-huh. <laughs> so they could have their conversation in the to say, okay, now this is the question you can ask, and if you ask the specific question, that's narrowly defined enough that that's admissible, or, you know, we'll, we'll let's go there, right? as far as the probe of the probing witness, right? So anyhow, the, um, the, uh, uh, the jury goes out sometimes for, you know, 10 minutes of, uh, oh, oh, we had a, we had a, we had a board hearing today, where the officer, Young from the Gretchen, Gretchen Police Department uh, was on transit assignment. They have a four year rotation and he's still on transit duty now. And he opted with having his, uh, his uh, uh, police force, the Gretchen, uh, the uh, uh, fourth largest city in Oregon, uh, Gretchen. Uh, they have a police force. And He's assigned to transit, which is an amalgam of every jurisdiction that the TriMet has uh, coverage. So if a TriMet bus goes down the street in Dinkerville, Dinkerville kicks down a police officer for the transit police, and then they get to go over to Metropolis, and then they get to go to, you know, Gotham City, and they get to go anywhere that the TriMet goes, and they can be a top there even if they're in a different county, uh, let alone a different city, or, you know, they're just completely, they're in the jurisdiction of TriMet, 
which is a, a tri-metropolitan transit duty, uh, uh, which is better, but anyhow, the, the transit queens are all receiving their paychecks from the city of Portland, which is Yeah. And they have, uh, The quote was uh, Jeremy Christian himself who said, you guys ready to smash Portland's fairy tale of a hate crime? It said, before the trial began Tuesday morning, Christian turned to the public and said, you guys ready to smash Portland's fairy tale of a hate crime? Oh, you said that? Yeah, right before the trial, uh, the beginning on Tuesday, yesterday. Oh, and, and he got reprimanded for that, I'm sure, by Judge Albright. <sighs> Talk like that. Well, yeah, but like it's in the paper. I know, I know. So are the pictures of the jury went out on the web and how we're gonna get. Do you wish vote. Jeremy Christian was pro se? <laughs> Barry okay. Joe Stoll. Do you wish Jeremy Christian was pro se? Do you think he could handle his own case? Uh, actually. Uh, handling his own case. Yeah. No, I would I, no, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not selling the guy short. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's he's uh, I don't know if I said this to you, Mary. Uh, I was in on a no complaint. I said it in my press release. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna be so, they're gonna charge me now, you know that. Hmm. Me on that one. Oh, they're going to bring that one up. You know what my defense is going to be? What? Take one. Choice of evils. Huh. It's caused me extreme emotional pain. I mean, I was, I was so tortured by those people at that point. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 stopped, I stopped the supervisor to, to, to report that, that they had mistreated me down at the precinct. <laughs> and it was how nice. He's not only back and on board, he's on the death duty because of now Sheriff we put him there after he was on he was on uh, death duty. Uh, because 
Right. I think I he handed it to me, and then I was like, oh, Mom, he's famous on Cop Watch. He's famous on Portland Cop Watch. Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie? We have a movie, Mary. I've never seen it, actually, but I had all the press Mary, postcards. Mary, they have the two movies. It might make me too angry, Barry Joe Stull. <laughs> After your four-minute tirade at me for calling you the B-word, <laughs> I will always call you Barry Joe Stull. <laughs> the B-word shall never be enunciated. I didn't mean to trigger you with the B-word. No, no, it's okay. Well, hey, you know... You can call me Big Boy on daytime, okay? So I don't need to be called Mary Joe all the time, all the time, all the time, Mary. Just people need to know that well, my, my computer is going to recognize what BJS means, even if you don't. The actual Barry Joe Stull does not recognize BJS, but my brain knows BJS. Hint, hint. My, my, um... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get back to the movies, so screw this. The two movies that you must have in your Dinkerville library are Alien Boy, The Life of Death of James Chessy, mm -hmm. and Arresting Power, Resisting Police Violence in Portland, Oregon. You can get both of those videos that I got the ones that I have in my hand. Uh, not much. Not big the much. police report has the, has the uh, uh, coupon that you become a member of Cop Watch and you make a donation. It's a piece of justice works. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the 11 o'clock news, and, and uh, I just got to see uh, uh, Jeremy Christian running off the. Uh, on the Mac platform, holding out his knife. Yeah. One of the testimony, one of the one of the witnesses testimony, testified how Jeremy Christian body checked Sean Ford into the Max when in fact uh, Jeremy Christian didn't have any physical contact with uh, Sean Ford at, at all. Uh, Sean Ford, as I mentioned, was two hundred seventy-five pounds, six feet four. Uh huh. And he had stepped up because hearing what what he heard, <laughs> uh, he wanted to engage and uh, deflect any uh, uh, any comments uh, about the uh, Muslim gals that he thought that. Micah's primary big push comes after, I think, a Jeremy has a smaller push. But um, let's go back and watch it to verify. I don't know nothing. Well, just so you know, the jury will be able to uh, have the video. All the video. 
Yeah, good. Yeah, and the, uh, uh, what's been happening so far is, uh, 